Guess what, Legacy? What? I got copyright claim. I beg your pardon? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I got copyright claim. I got copyright claim by a black guy who swears he wants to be a white guy who's mad at the white guy for being white. So only thing I know how to do is redo a video and be petty as shit in the whole video. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. So what do you think I should talk about first in my video? The fact that he can't rhyme, he don't know what cadence are, or the fact that my sister said that he looked like a fucked up put pit bull in the face. Well, that's just mean to say it about dogs, but I think we'll just go <laughs> by ear. By ear? I mean, you were, I mean I'll, I'll give you credit. It is mean to talk about dogs like that because even the rescue dogs look better than his face will ever do. Anyway, hello everybody, my name is Shay Tissa, you can call me Shay for short, in today's video you may be like, well Shay, you got on this Wonder Woman outfit, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I'm gonna tell you, since this motherfucker interrupted my uh, filming schedule today, I don't feel like I need to change my goddamn clothes. Oh, so a fame video is coming out shortly. Anyway, um, I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. I'm being open. I'm the best black friend you can have. I'm telling you the goddamn truth. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If y'all did not know, I am queen of petty. I am petty as hell. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. And since this motherfucker wanted to copyright claim my whole entire video, even though his song is only 10 minutes, and my video, after it was done, it was 24 minutes. He copyright claimed the whole fucking thing. He was a prison bitch. So I figured we'll go back through his fucked up lyrics and I, I will actually tell you everything I really truly feel about him because I held back the first time I, I listened to it. So I figured like might as well tell you how I truly feel about all his lyrics right now. Not being petty at all. This nigga was clearly lying. So, so if y'all didn't know, in the beginning of this fucked up song, he has this whole he has this whole thing about a uh, interlude about about this white boy and his grandmother and everything else. He goes and he talks about this white boy and his grandmother who who drives the Uber. Then after that, he has his own little mental break moment, and then he actually goes and sings to sings to what do you call it Eminem, like he's a fucked up fan. He sings to Eminem, calling him a white boy. But somebody in my comment said section said, "Oh Shay, you called him a white boy. Do better." Even though, even though. Let me just put this out there. Even though 50 Cent said on Patiently Waiting, 50 Cent's first album, uh, Get Rich or Die Trying, not his first actual album, but his first album that he were, he he produced on um, Shady Aftermath with Dr. Dre, he said he was his favorite white boy and he didn't get offended. So I don't understand why the fuck you got offended when I said it about Eminem. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's an ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? Um, so he's singing to Eminem. Like a bitch. Um, I don't understand here. So he is still talking about something that is completely random. He, now I'm singing to Frank Ocean. He is singing to random niggas outside and everything else, giving him the attention that he deserves and everything else. Tell him I said, like a bitch. I will sit over here and I will I will sit over here and be petty as fuck and not have to explain or go down his lyrics again because everybody know that this shit is fucking trash. Nobody has sit over here and said that he is good at what he does. Not a superhero, not a super villain. Nobody can save him from his stupidity, but he wanted to get in front of me and my money, so we have nothing, I have nothing else to say. Be a sport and grab daddy another beer, would you? Oh, I didn't even catch this last time. This is when he rhymes last night with last night and last night while we did something last night, and then we talk about last night. One, two, three. One. Two, three, and so the fuck. One, two, three, four. Niggas mad, I fuck they hoe. Five. Oh, five. Five last nights. 
And no one could have told him last night that this was a dumbass idea. That is a known fact. He rhymed last night five times. Five times. Okay. We got all of these last nights, but no, no, no last night told you that this was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Shay, why aren't you playing the music? I played the music the last time, and you know what? This this nigga that rhymes last night with last night took copyright claim my shit. And on order for me to fight it, I have to go get a lawyer now. Even though anybody can tell if the original video is 10 minutes long and my video is 25 minutes, that I I could possibly change that shit. And then this is the part where he said that he has a little dick. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. Um. <laughs> See, my dick get little on the internet. Uh, I, 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 what? I'm just saying, he, he said that he had a little dick. We can kind of tell since you try to dick ride Eminem. That is a known fact. And you're 42 and he is um, um, 49. We can tell that you're trying to actually dick ride him and everything else. I don't feel like I should have to bring up all of my great points that I brought in the last time. Because I feel like this whole story is trash. I feel like... I feel like his career was trash. I feel like I feel like his career is trash. I feel like his him being down bad is trash. I feel like you have to constantly be on reality TV shows or trash. I feel that you you trying to steal Eminem's cadence is trash. I feel like your your whole being in life is trash. Well, Shay, I would love for you to I love for you to bring up some exhibits. Exhibit A through Fucking Z is on this fucking track and everybody goddamn knows it. I'm petty, I'm petty, I'm petty, I'm petty, I'm petty. Everybody knows it. Well, Shay, you're bullying. And this is what's wrong with people today in society. People need to bully him. <laughs> to tell him to sit the fuck down. Because you know what? Everybody's gonna be like, well, he has a good point. No, he don't. Wrong answer! <laughs> This is what happens. This is what happens. This is a 42 year old man who is seeking validation from a 49 year old man because somebody else didn't talk to him. This is it. Hold up. Legacy, can you look up how old Dr. Dre is? Can you tell me that? Sorry, I have my favorite white boy <laughs> who's my best friend. Oh my God. Legacy, you didn't get offended because I said you were my favorite bright boy and you're my best friend, did you? Oh God damn it. Seeking validation from a 40, so you're 42. You seeking validation from a 49 year old because somebody who's 57 didn't work on your album. That is what we are fucking with. And then you saying that you never played his shit in the car. Oh yeah, I forgot to even say that. He never played Eminem shit in the car. And you want to know the fucked up thing is, I feel like if you play some of Eminem stuff in the car, you would actually be better at, you would actually be better at rapping. But I call bullshit, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. You did play Eminem shit in the car. Because how the fuck did you get all his damn lines? Because all of these lines that you're pulling from, from all of these different albums, you pull lines from like seven different albums so who the fuck are you lying to no, 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 no. you are a whole stalker how are you gonna be the black slim shady but you dev you don't know any of his lines but even though you pulled them from his albums but you never listened to any of his shit because you didn't play it in your car and everything else are you are you lying to people this nigga was clearly lying <laughs> Or are you just trying to think that that's the cool, edgy thing to do? Why don't, you know what? I would have gave you more props if you would have actually did a fucking TikTok dance or some dumb shit like that. Look, man. Or you accidentally leak your nudes on the internet again. And, I mean, I guess you don't want to do that again because your dick is little on the internet now. But I'm just saying. If you actually wanted to do something... Maybe you should do like a TikTok dance or something like that. Luke. I'm petty. 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 Do some 
great. Shit, are you setting yourself up for an apology video? Like, you know, like, like they did. Like, are you setting yourself up for an apology video? Because I'm still trying to understand why we have to listen to your bullshit. I don't get it. Maybe somebody else can help me. Because you may be like, well, Shay, you just been going off on this guy this whole time. Yes, I'm petty. Y'all think, y'all think 50 Cent petty? I'm petty. I've been petty. Ask, ask any of my fa- ask any of the people who watch me from day to day. They'll tell you how petty I am when it comes to Kakarot. You think I'm petty when it comes to Kakarot. You don't think I'll be petty when it comes to him? Anytime I can crack a joke on your fucked up face as I will. Swallow sadness. And then say I'm bullying you. You a grown ass man, dog. Call me a bully if you want to. You're 42. What the hell? Are you gonna start a campaign? Don't care. Stay mad. <laughs> because of the fact of the matter is, nobody wanted to take you on a goddamn field trip to 8 Mile. Grow the fuck up. Grow the hell up. Grow up. And I ain't gonna even say what they were saying in my comment section about your daddy. I ain't gonna say that. Or about you, about you and those allegations. Harassment lawsuit. I ain't gonna say that. Go read my conversation in my first video. Y'all see what the fuck they were saying. It's lit. I ain't even gotta say that. And then see, this is what pissed me off last time. Look like some wigger in jeans, little Marshall Mathers. Why? If you think he's a wigger, saying shit about his mama, why do you need a wigger to pass you a torch? I think that's ass backwards, but that's just me. How you gonna need a rigger to pass you something if you say that he's not of the culture? But I, but I'm, I'm gonna let it go. No, I'm not because it makes no fucking sense. They got mad because Fifty Cent ain't releasing shit no more. Did you know Fifty Cent just went on a Breakfast Club and Fifty Cent just said that he produces over twenty five, twenty five different. TV shows. 50 Cent produces over 25 TV shows and he said that he will not put out an album unless it's tied to one of his shows to make sure it makes dollars and cents. But you mad that 50 Cent ain't nobody invited you to the Super Bowl. This is all because of the Super Bowl. Let me say this. Ordinarily, I feel really bad for you. The Super Bowl, but, uh, Lexi, didn't the Super Bowl happen, um, in California? In L this is because it happened in LA. You were right down the street. They had to bust, they had to bust 50 Cent in. Mary J. Blige was probably on East Coast too. Eminem was probably in his basement in Detroit. And Dr. Dre was the only one that's there. And then they had to go find Kendrick Lamar because you know Kendrick Lamar is barely on social media. So you're probably mad that they had to call, oh, it's Snoop Dogg. Shit, Snoop Dogg is all around the place filming shows after shows. So Snoop Dogg was probably not even in America probably at the time. And you're mad that they had to send all of these private jets to go get all these significant, these, all these, all these great people to fly them in. But you was right down the street. <laughs> you was five minutes away and they were like, nah, fuck that nigga. <laughs> That's why you mad. Because you was right down the street and no, and everybody was like, is that everybody? Yeah, everybody here. Uh-huh, I get, nobody needs to, nobody else needs to be here. Bruh. So long to a guy who's 42 who's seeking validation from a guy that is 49 that, is, that was mad that somebody who was 50, 57 didn't give him, did not give him the time of day. And that's why all of your albums are whack. And that's why nobody knew who the fuck you were. Thank you. So long. Got a kingdom and you never had a place in it No nah, man, rain with the rage of fist Fuck a train and all cause I'm a saiyan prince Goddamn, this is a royalty check If you see me ruling, avoiding this best If your life a movie, I'm spoiling the debts And I'm better, I'm collecting my royalty check